Yes, my lord. I was told you wanted to see me. Yes. Please come in, Devadatta. My disciples listen to my advice. They observe my rules of discipline. But Devadatta, I have been told that you misguide them by getting the group behind you. Are you trying to break away from me by creating a schism in the Sangha? This is a grievous offense. Lord, we are suffering from admitting vulgar and despicable scavengers, murderers, criminals, and womanizers into our order. What do you propose? Lord, I propose that monks and nuns should live in forest dwellings. I also propose that all monks and nuns should beg for arms, should wear robes made from castaway clothes. All monks and nuns should meditate in the forest and refrain from eating meat. Lord, only when every member of the Sangha follow these rules can they be disciplined. Devadatta, after your ordination, did you ever live in the forest? No, sir. Have you ever worn robes made from castaway clothes? No, sir. Have you refrained from eating meat? No, sir, but I have meditated in the forest, and I have gone begging for arms. Devadatta, you have not even followed three of the five conditions you have proclaimed. Think. Is it right to proclaim those conditions for my disciples? <laughs> there are many monks who approve of my proposals. Devadatta, do not divide the community of monks. If you disagree with my code of discipline, you are free to leave. I will go. I will go with the many monks who respect me and are attached to me. If your thoughts are pure, the results of your actions will be good. If your thoughts are impure, the results of your actions will be bad. Anyone is free to come to me or to leave me, just as they wish. But, Devadatta, be mindful of your actions.